Hey folks, it's Rick. So uh, I was asked um, to do a quick tutorial about uh, finger picking. Uh, I'm not an expert in finger picking, but um, I did have some instruction on it at different times. I learned a little bit of banjo uh, about 20 years ago, and I bought a banjo book, and so I learned a couple banjo rolls. A banjo roll is just a, a pattern that you do. This is the one that I always left, that I always remembered. So after I learned how to do that, um, I wanted to go a little further, so I took some classical lessons, which I was terrible at. But I did come away with some important things. Um, I had this really bad habit of putting my hand down while I was finger picking. I also did something like this where I would go, instead of picking the string inward, I would lift up on it. So it was like a, I can't even do it anymore. This is probably very exaggerated, but here are the rules that I learned uh, from that classical teacher. The first thing is you got to keep your wrist up high. Uh, so you just sort of rest your arm on the guitar and let your wrist sort of dangle like this and you know you say don't crush the troll under the bridge and then when you pick so first with your thumb so your thumb comes in and then as you pick your fingers actually go inward you know it's like a it's like a gripping motion almost I'm not picking up, I'm going downward. I'm like going into the guitar. And as I do that, I see them starting to crush the troll under the bridge a little bit. So I try to lift that up again. So I'm not real warmed up on it right now. But um, here's the pattern. This is the banjo roll that I learned. By the way, in classical music, the fingers are P, I M A. Pima. Uh, the Spanish words for these. Pulgar. Indis. Indice, I believe it is. Medio. And annular. Wonder why they call that one annular. It's kind of a funny name for it. So I do P M P I. So I'm going outers and inners. So you can practice doing that. Try not to do what I'm doing. Now. See, I'm bouncing up. That's bad. And then do outer, inner, outer, inner, outer, inner. And if you get a chord down, like a C chord. And then as you get warmed up, you can go a little faster. It's kind of hard. But um, <clears throat> so here's another ways, other ways that you can change that up. So if you're doing a G chord, your root note's gonna be on the sixth string. So you wanna be thinking P on the sixth string, P, M, and then alternate to the fifth string with the thumb P I P M P I P or you can alternate to the fourth string D and what that gets going is this little it's called an ostinato bass line So what if you're doing like a G chord to a G slash B or G first inversion to a C add nine chord? You could do it like this. Now 
once you get down that little technique, then you can start thinking about other rhythms. Here's a good one, for instance. I'm not sure if this is exactly how McCartney did this. I don't think it is, but it really works well. So if you go... And I'm doing the same pattern now, but I'm going... One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. I'm counting. I'm not doing my finger numbers. I'm just doing the rhythm. Da, 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 da. a good one. What about this one? That's another place you can apply that. And then other things that you can do, I mean you can apply it to some jazz chords where you're uh, just plucking specific strings as you need. And so just learn how to do this grip and pull. Not even a pull. Just fire and inward. Fire inward. I've been practicing this in a long time, but those are the basics of what I know. You can certainly do other things. I used to do this when I was young. I used to go, uh, uh, that's using the A finger as well. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing strings six, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, with fingers P, M, I, M, A, M, I, M. And um, that's a good thing to get all four fingers going. But to begin with, if you just do this little banjo roll with these first three fingers. kind of a roll through the chord there. And the real classical guys will grow out their fingernails and manicure them and all kinds of stuff. He used to try to get me when I was taking those lessons to grow out my fingernails and we would work on my fingers sometimes more than on the guitar which I thought was silly. That's it. That's what I know about finger picking. Not much, but a little bit. I recommend looking at those banjo books, and I also rec look, recommend looking at the Aaron Shear uh, Classical Guitar Method. And I think that's published by Hal Leonard, if I'm not mistaken. All right, folks. Later on.